working these deep weed edges all day with swim jigs with all kinds of stuff and then and then I finally tried a drop shot and I got a decent fish finally on these deep weed edges found some structure back that way I worked it for a while and then finally got this guy to play it's about time it's been a long drag of a day I'm gonna measure this one and see what we got Sixteen and three quarters. There's another one on the drop shot in the deep weed edges. This one's a tiny one, but I'm learning something. That's all that really matters. Okay, let's pause the video there for a bit. When I said I was learning something, I kind of want to go through what I was learning. I was fishing these deep weed edges with just about everything I possibly could. I kept getting nibbles that I knew were not bluegills. I grabbed my Senko, dropped it down under to see what was biting, and a large school of perch surrounded that Senko. It was then I kind of figured out that that's what those bass were eating. That's when I switched to the drop shot with a perch colored senko like these shown here. Every time I'm on the water, I try to learn something. That's what I was doing and it was a lot of fun. Okay, back to the video. a good fish there. This one I got right up here on a hump. This one's 16 so it'll probably be about a two pounder. So 16 inches, two pounder probably. Um, again I'm just I'm trying to get away from fishing docks and fishing some 
deeper weed edges, trying some different techniques, and today I'm just doing a lot of the uh, drop shot. And got a few of these guys so far. It was a long, long morning, so I'm really happy with this one. Let's get a couple more. We've only got a few more hours, so I want to try to get a couple more. That's a little one. It's really fun though catching these guys. 